this is the second take of this video i filmed the entire video only to find that it was on slow motion hi welcome to my channel if you are new here my name is jennifer i do hope that you stick around so today we're talking about stock fell you guys and i'm gonna give you a little bit of a story time of when we almost lost our money in one of the stock fell that i was part of remember there was this time that i did a video talking about how i spent my stock fell money on one of the weirdest thing ever now the purpose of me actually being part of the stock fell or putting money aside was because i wanted to save for december i wanted to make sure that when i go home in december i have money to be able to buy groceries and to be able to travel home and back and so i saved money and we were saving about a minimum of 300 500 depending on what you could afford that month but the minimum was 300 and so i was a treasury of the stock file i was the one in charge of just writing down and making sure that everyone is contributing and just keeping the money safe and in our office where we used to work in our director's office there is actually a safe and he didn't even know that we're keeping money in there so i would take the money me personally and actually put that money in there and i was the only one that was actually responsible for that key no one else within the directorate actually was responsible for that key so no one could go there and actually take out that money and even in that safe i put it in a way that it was not obvious that there was money in there so brief, brief background regarding what happened so as i was a treasurer of that stock farm so what we decided to do is we wanted to grow our money we didn't want to put 300 rand and then end of the year get 300 rand we wanted to actually put 300 rand and then maybe end of the year get 350 and the way that we wanted to do that was actually lend out money but we decided that instead of lending out to people that we don't know and actually taking the risk of a person not returning our money we decided that we actually we're going to learn among ourselves because that way we work we all work together we know each other and so we could remember Mind each other about the payment or just basically returning the money and so we decided that you will borrow and if you borrow it's going to be 10% of interest that has to come back with each hundred rand that you borrow so mobile hundred rand will be a 110 rand that is what we decided to do and so we started our stock file and then we started contributing saving the money and then we started borrowing returning the money so that's what most of us did i would borrow money and i would return the money borrow money return the money so we were allowed as a person that is within the stock fell to borrow money on behalf of someone that is outside of our stock fell however we would use your name so it's basically like you are the one borrowing money and not the other person and so if it's time to pay we'll remind you that you have to pay the money and we did not care whether that person has not paid you that money yet all we knew is that okay you are the one that borrow money so it's time for you to return it so that is what we did that also allowed us to actually gain more interest however there was this one time not even one time so as we're borrowing money and giving it back with interest there was just this one person who started borrowing money and she'll return it and then she started borrowing money and not returning it and she kept on borrowing 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 to a point whereby the money that she had borrowed was so big was so big and it it was so big compared to what she had put in and compared to what some of us had in there because it was close to ten thousand the money that she had borrowed from us and i don't know what was happening in our minds that we allowed for that thing to happen but it happened the next thing we find when i was looking at the books and i was calculating all of the money that was borrowed i was like hey boy guys do you see who usman money has borrowed how much and she has not returned this money now what frustrated us was that as she was she had borrowed this money we don't know we don't care what she used it on but then we we let her lend lent that she was borrowing some of this money to invest in crypto now as much as i'm invested in crypto but i know that in crypto you don't invest money that you're not willing to lose now taking money that is not yours and investing in crypto is a very dangerous business that you should never ever ever do and so some of the money she would put in there some of the money we don't know what she did we don't we really don't know what she did with that money but all we realize is that she borrowed so much money and she was not returning it and it was throwing close to the end of the year like june guys july august september october 
little more we try and remind the person the person will become offensive and use weird lines on us as if now we don't trust her, or as if now we're saying that she won't return the money the issue is that we didn't want we, we didn't want you to we didn't want her to hold that much money on her side for that long and that's because it was a risk for us because it was contribution for two people when you look at it it was a contribution for two people and this person was just also another thing that we, we realized is that as much as she was borrowing ne, and not returning the money she was also not she stopped contributing there was a time whereby she was just not contributing at all and we're like but then what leverage do we have because now this person has borrowed so much money and has not returned any of this money but the worst part is that she's not even contributing now she's not actually taking part she's not being active in the stock file but she's benefiting out of the stock file now this is not right and i remember you yeah guys yo our that that year we were so stressed we were so devastated and we were really worried about our money because as i said we we're saving a minimum of 300 500 depending on what you had that month and so her the money that she had borrowed plus the interest was enough money for two people within the stock farm and it was during close to the end of the year and this person was not contributing and they were not paying back the money but eventually eventually i think around october i think around october if not september or, september or october i think that's when she actually paid back the money i thought we're not gonna get it back i actually thought we're not gonna get it back but she paid it back I was relieved that she paid it back for me the most important thing was to get our money back that's what i wanted to tell you about when it comes to the stock file now am i still part of a stock file yes i am currently part of a stock file but not that one that one never recovered after that we stopped and we never did it again we never did it again but i joined another stock file within the department that is more so properly managed it has a finance team it has a proper bank account and it also has a proper constitution that everyone was part of when it comes to drafting and also now you know giving out comments and that is a stock file that i'm just happy about i've been part of the stock file for two years now this is my third year and i don't think i'm gonna stop I'm, i don't think i'll ever stop until the stock file stops because it allows me to it, it gives me another avenue of saving money even though it doesn't give out a lot of interest but it's fine you go in there knowing that it's not a platform where you're going to get a lot of money when it comes to interest rates you're just packing your money for 12 months so that at beginning of the year you have some money that you can use either for coming back wherever you are working and also for paying for school fees buying uniform if your kids are going to school you know all that stuff and so i'm still part of the i'm part of the stock file and i love the stock file properly managed as i said it has a constitution a bank account a finance team and then every time a person contributes money we all get notifications on our emails that someone has put in this much money so we know and also we get a spreadsheet that calculates your pro your that can calculates your contribution and also calculates your interest rates and so as you contribute you see most you see how much you are putting in there how much you have and, and how much potential interest you have as you are as you keep contributing so i love it i love it i love it and then i'm also part of umholi swan now umholi swan is totally different from a stock file because umholi swan it's money exchanging hands very quickly so there isn't money that's gonna sit with just one person so every time it rotates one month it's another person the following month it's another person the following month it's another person and so it's money exchanging hands now that part it allows you to actually come up with a large sum of money in a short period of time to allow you to do the things that you might want to do let's say for instance you want to renovate your house you want to fix something you want to do this you know but then you know that at a certain time you're going to get a large sum of money and that large sum of money is going to allow you to push there and there and there but still even there you want to make sure that you are with people that you can trust people that are trustworthy you don't want someone that's going to be the first person they get all of this money and the next thing 
you know you don't want to be you don't want to find yourself in that position and so just be weary of the stock files that you join and also the um that you join because now you here you're dealing with people you're not dealing with an institution it's unlike taking your money and putting it in a bank that is an institution and it has proper policies and it is also registered and so it's easier to file your complaint where are you going to file your complaint in the stock file there's no way so if you put in money and the next thing you get half of what you contributed or you don't get anything at all there is no way where you're going to lay a complaint that money is gone gone baba so you just have to be very weary about those things so when you join a stock file just be woke you know another thing that i would say also when you join a stock file make sure that the stock file has a constitution it has a proper finance team and it also has a proper account a bank account because you want to make sure that where your money is going it's going in a safe place you don't want to join a stock file where money is kept under a mattress of someone else's house because anything can happen that person can get can get robbed that person can lie and say they got robbed and the next thing Gandhi, they took the money and did something else there was this one lady that my, my mother took up told me about when i got home and you know the, my mother's not part of any stock files she's just not big on stock files but she was telling me about this story that she had heard around they this lady had joined the stock file they had put in a lot of money to a point whereby i think their money was about hundred and fifty thousand that they had saved in that stock file and then the next thing that lady around november she disappeared no trace no one knew where she went she left with the entire hundred and fifty thousand. now i'm talking about rural areas here i'm not talking about here where you know in our stock file we are able to save close to a million in a year but here i'm talking about rural areas where 150 is a lot of money it's a lot of money. Imali or Coco, Imali or Auntie, Imali or Sisa, my colleague, or Lolo, Bagit, and then by Bega La Pe. The next thing when just Imali, Balega Nai. So that lady did that. She ran with that money, and she was never found. So you can imagine all of that money, your grand money, Coco, Imali, Imali, Grandi, Imali or Lolo, Imali or Kwesvenzayo, and people in rural areas, guys, they really get paid a, a small amount of money you know and then they put this money they save it because they want to make sure that december they're able to buy clothes for kids they're able to buy groceries and the next thing a person runs with the money and so you want to make sure that the is to the the stock file that you join to put your money has a proper bank account and that bank account does not belong to one person no one must come and say i have a bank account that is not working we can use it no don't join a start such a stock form Join a stock file that actually has a proper bank account where three people have signed, co-signed in that bank account. Not one person can come in there and just withdraw money. Yes, the three of them can actually come together and say they want to go withdraw that money. But then it's less likely. It is less likely for that to happen. And also join a stock file of people you know, people you can trust. Anyway, that is all that I wanted to share with you today. I wanted to give you a little bit of a story time and just also just to give you small tips regarding what you have to be careful of when it comes to joining a stock file, what you have to look at and the things that you have to be mindful about when it comes to joining a stock file. Also educate yourself about other places where you can save your money. Don't take all of your money. So let's say for instance, in a month you decide that you want to save five thousand or six thousand let's say five thousand don't take the entire five thousand put it in a stock file in one stock file split your money now this comes you remember when when people say when they're investing they'll say diversify your amount your your money don't put all your eggs in one basket same thing when you are saving don't put all your eggs in one basket like right now when it comes to my savings i have a savings tracker and i will share with that with you and i'll share that with you when i do a monthly research i have a, tra a tracker where i save i show i'm tracking where i'm putting my money and that is because if i decide that i'm going to save five thousand per month i'm not going to take all of that five thousand and put in one stock file that is very dangerous as i said people can run with your money people can de can decide to do some theft people can get robbed so the last thing that i want is to put all of my money in one place in one basket and so i choose to split it my money goes 
on franc my money goes on this other stock fell it also goes on this other Moholiswane. it also goes on time bank you know it i split it because i don't want to take a risk of just putting all of my money every month in just one thing one thing that is not wise it's not safe and you should not do it you should not with that being said i hope you guys found value on this video if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up if you are part of a stock file please let me know and if you ever been in a stock file that was shady or someone ran with your money please let me know until i see you on the next video please take care and stay safe bye